Vice Chancellor Professor Greg Nakuri, and we presented at the conference. So we actually want to partner with you so that um, the government will now know where to come in because this 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 date is um, commercialization, innovation, commercialization, how to get it to the market. So we are happy that you are here with us so that you see what we have. But the faculty is made up of C department, which is the bedrock of uh, science. That's the bedrock of science. See what we have and know how we will now collaborate to get it to the end uh, users. Um, most of this um, research we've carried out, both undergraduate and postgraduate, have to hit the market. And this conference is one of the avenues we showcase what we've done and see how it can be commercialized. So thank you for coming and we believe that after this conference there will be something we will go home with to, to discuss with them with the Mr. Governor. Okay. Dr. Matt this is very nice to meet you sir. He's the professor of the university. Thank you. So Mr. Thompson, I want to on behalf of the who is on our border that and welcome you to our university. I'm sure today is the first time we are coming to your university. That's <laughs> that, that is absolutely time. So, <laughs> so we we'll expect that from time to time, we will now come and see what we are doing, then find a way of uh, supporting what we are doing so that we will now get it right. And I think it's because it's also a colleague in the in the acad academia that made it to appoint a commissioner for industry because he understands that when we have commissioner for industry, whatever innovation we come up with will easily implement it. Absolutely correct. I want to say that we are putting a right a, a, a square peg in a square hole. And we want to say that having come to our school, our university, we want to create the indulgence to have something to take home to the, to the government. I'm honored by the invitation to be here with you today, uh, with my colleague, uh, uh, the uh, celebrated Chiwa uh, Kuli, essay to the government on innovation. Um, I'm very happy to be here. And uh, as I was driving down, uh, just now coming, uh, I noticed uh, the deep green of the university. I also noticed the uh, trimming of some hedges. Uh, and I was very delighted. Uh, I remember remarking to Chingwe that, wow, it looks like they have, uh, um, what did I call that? Moors. Uh, 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 more. More. Yeah. I said Moors. Uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> I said Moors is more like it. Uh, because it, it's, it's beautiful uh, uh, to be in a place like this. Uh, the land is vast and green and deeply rich. Uh, rich in many respects. Human capital, which the governor says, and we all believe, is our greatest asset. Uh, rich in terms of uh, the diversity of talents that are here. And also rich in terms of the infrastructure that you're developing. Uh, you know, I see the superstructure springing up some at different levels of completion. Um, and so it's, uh, it's delightful to be here today uh, to talk about innovation and to look at what we need to do. Because uh, as it is in the, national, in the state anthem for Anambra, we're land of progress. We are light bearers, and um, it is us that will build a progressive of night. And so this march on innovation is really about sustaining that march forward. And um, as commissioner, I've been on the job for about well, four months now. And uh, it's sufficient time for me to have, you know, they say it takes about six months to put your feet under the table. Um, but um, I hope the governor says, we have an agenda with a deadline, and uh, we don't have time to spare. So uh, I've grown very quickly on the job. And one of the things I know uh, which is lacking that I'm happy that uh, Chukomeko Amengo is on the 
forefront of leading is collaboration between the academia, government, and industry. Uh, given that uh, the administration of Professor Tukuma Charles Soludo as governor of Alhambra State is one that is focused on solutions. Uh, we believe the academy, like uh, Citadel of Learning and Center of Knowledge, uh, like uh, the Chukwemeka Mugodruku University, uh, should be uh, a beehive of ideas, uh, a place where you have contestations of uh, various ideas that are then synthesized, and the final best versions of what we have come to government for implementation and execution. I'm really delighted to be here today, and even more excited to be here with him today. And I know I learned from Professor Avondo that this is the fifth one. I mean, there have been other editions of this this uh, conference, but I think this one is actually more timely because it's coming at a time where when the government of the state is uh, is looking in this direction intentionally, right? Um, before now, um, the, the, the innovation and entrepreneurship, the way we are focusing on it right now wasn't the case. So, but right now, uh, Mr. Governor, Professor uh, Charles Chukumaso, the CFR, is quite intentional. And what we're doing right now is not, it's not just to talk about it and discuss it, but that's also important uh, for, for, for knowledge transfer, for ideas exchange, and for people who do not even know what's, what's happening to come on board, right? So the conversational part of it is very important. But even more important is the action after the conversation, right? And that's why the, gov the governor has, you know, to show that he is very intentional about this, about innovation, about research commercialization, about technological advancement, Banamra State. He has set up what is called the Solution Innovation District. Uh, Professor Moza had visited us, uh, a part he came the day the, the temporary site of the place was uh, formally uh, launched by the government. That was uh, August this year. And uh, even more interesting, or uh, should I say, to show the level of commitment the governor has towards this, is that the current government house, as you know, it's the, where the governor sits right now has been designated as the permanent site of the Solution Innovation District. And just to put it in context, Solution Innovation District is the Silicon Valley of the East. So if you know what happens at the Silicon Valley, that's where all the high-tech companies we know today uh, co-locate, right? That's where you see the Facebook, the Gmail, the Ymail, the Microsoft, HP, all the tech companies we know today. They are neighbors themselves in, 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 in the Silicon Valley. So what we are building right now um, in Anambra State is the Silicon Valley of Anambra State. But that Silicon Valley called the Solution Innovation District will not just be buildings. If it's just buildings, then, <laughs> I mean, it's not serving the purpose. So the research that will come out of the universities, the brilliant ideas that will come out of the universities, solving real problems, you know, not just talking about all the problems, but solutions to the problems we face across sectors. Those are the companies that will reside at the park, uh, at the Solution Innovation District. So, what we are doing today is quite timely, and I'm really happy to be here. So, you see, the number is far beyond just the professors that, that teach them, right? So, it's about activating innovation, making these thousands of people see that they can be problem solvers, they can be innovators, they can be inventors. This is what it's about. And this is what Solution Innovation District is about. And coming here today to uh, discuss this, uh, STI, it couldn't have come at a better time. And I'm really happy to be here. And of course, I look forward to the partnership that will follow. Of course, I've started having some conversations with Prof. But we're going to see how to act on all of the things that will come out of this to make sure that the Silicon Valley of the East, uh, he said that uh, this is the only the university in Anambra, yes. of Anambra yes. State, in Anambra State. So we have to show that yes. now. Yeah. Beyond just saying it, if Anambra State uh, University, if it's Chukwemeka or the Milbo Juku University, he's always in the news for the right reasons. He's always in the news for the inventions, for the technological innovations, for the brilliant ideas that are competing at the global stage. 
hey, then you wouldn't need to tell someone that this is the only university in Anambrasi because it would be so clear, right? And that is what we want the university to do right now, to lead from the front. And uh, we're here to support, we're here to partner and uh, see how best to actualize Mr. Governor's agenda. The agenda is to make Anambrasi the digital and creative capital of Nigeria in the next few years. And you have the population, you have the interest, you're looking in the same direction. The only thing left now is to act, right? Thank you very much. <sighs> Thank you, everybody. Chiwe, Chris, my baby is the registrar for Sir LOC Press Crew. Thank you very much. I think um, the day is almost past, right? And we have a few people. Those, your, those, your, those ones you must, I mean, inspire them, they are with them. With all their rudimentary technology for you to see. And then Mr. Commissioner are there because they want they want you to take them to the end of the so that they will start doing things. So we've done all the theory, we get there, you see the entire good of technology and we end that see the present community. So to 
ecosystem in Nigeria. We're talking about uh, Anambra State, on the market and all of that. Do you know that just the revenue projected from e-commerce alone in 2023 is 3.6 trillion US dollars? 3.6 trillion US dollars. That means money that people spend buying something online. That's a huge market. I mean, that's a huge, huge chunk. How many of our businesses are selling online and making this money? It doesn't matter whether this business is in front of your house. You too can, if you know how. Right? So the issue right now, um, several countries are really, I mean, they are rising above their barriers, trying to take advantage, trying to play the lead role in these countries like uh, China, like uh, India, like Singapore and all of that. But right now, Anambra State, Anambra State is very intentional about this. Mr. Governor wants to be in the Anambra to don't just sit and watch what is going on, but to actually be at the forefront of what is going on. And it's all of you that are in this hall that can make that happen. The Faculty of Physical Science is, is putting in a lot of effort by bringing us together to have these conversations. But what you do after that is actually what is going to change anything. So what the government is doing right now, uh, the first is infrastructure and facility development. It will interest you to know that the governor is so committed to this that the current government house where the governor's uh, office is has been designated to become the solution innovation district from next year. So, yeah, some of you are surprised. So the governor is moving to a permanent site. Thank you. So the governor's office is relocating to a permanent site in Oka, the more befitting place for the governor. So the current government house, which is 40 hectares of land, will become our own Silicon Valley. And the governor, thank you. And the governor is not waiting to move before he starts uh, the development. The master plan is already set, is done already, and the building. ready for us to move into. But we do not wait for that. When we wait for the development of the permanent site, the governor on the first of August uh, launched the takeoff center, the social education district state of takeoff center in Walker. Pitchfork and people grant all the universities in the house. Zuckerberg 
to learn and at the same time build startups. And so IIT in India has at least seven, seventy-three of the of the unicorns in India came from that school, the India School of Technology. And so what they now do, like um, Bella School of Technology, is they can give you up to one year off to go and develop your idea. And then the other schools like Keller Technology uh, University can give you a whole term to still work on. If you're a student, then you can work on your idea at the same time. And this is your startup idea. You can actually present it as your project. Instead of writing something that you don't even understand, you can build a business. I mean, this is something that the university may consider. You can build a, a, an innovative business. Yeah.